Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, back with another fun craft for you guys. Today we're gonna turn the single serving sizes of Pringles into fun party decor. I not only use them for party decor, but I will use it to put on top of a gift wrap um, or give it with a gift card. They're just so cute, so you can personalize them. I've definitely known ahead of time what party themes will be, so our gifts will match with whatever the theme is. It's a lot of fun, and they look amazing. Um, I know with the lights, it's kind of hard to see, but this is a, a lemon can. I mean, look how cute that is. <laughs> and then this one is more Tiana-inspired, so you can see her lily pad, with someone turning six. I mean, you know, the colors of that theme. And then this one's just fun. Like we're gonna have an ice cream party, have some friends over. So it can be any theme. Today we're gonna be focusing on a heart theme because I wanted to do something for my mom's birthday and then also Mother's Day and then just, you know, everyone loves hearts. So that's what we're gonna do today. This is a great, great, great craft because we don't need any machines. You can actually, I'll show you right now because the way I measured this and the measurements will be in the comments or in the description, you need to measure the top part. Now for the lid, I do like to use glitter cardstock because it's just sturdier. It can hold the glue. We're going to be taping or gluing this down like this to cover this top part. This middle piece right here is basically unfolded a rectangle. So you can use a paper cutter, uh, you could use your Cricut or Silhouette to cut it, or you could just use a also a, you know, a hand cutting machine or scissors, <laughs> if I hadn't mentioned that. So that middle part, I'm gonna show you the cardstock that I use. These are a little bit thicker than regular cardstock, but look how cute. I'm giving you two color options. We're doing black and white hearts and then white with like this silver, holographic um, colored hearts and it's beautiful. I don't know if you can really see it, but oh yeah, you can. It reflects just different colors. It's gorgeous and it's thicker like I was saying. And then to cover up our imperfections of the top and then how we layered, you know, how we put this down, there's always, you know, there's always room for error <laughs> when it comes to crafting, but this is where this comes in. This will hide all our imperfections. So it's a little ribbon banner that goes across the lid and then to cover down at the bottom, this um, tin part. And so everything's gonna be covered up like this. And you can do different um, widths. Um, for this one, I went a little bit thicker. This time I did the same size for top and bottom. So we'll see how that looks. Um, it's totally a matter of preference. So you can see here, and then you can match the cardstock, sorry, match the cardstock to the theme. These are popsicles, but um, I love Design Space, Cricut's Design Space for the ice cream. It has all the layers. So we're gonna be practicing layers today as well, because that's what really makes this stand out. Now, if you really, I'm also going to do another one where there's a, um, there's a dome and so you can have little foam balls on the inside to shake it up So if you want to see that let me know in the comments and maybe in my next video I will show you the details on how to do that. All right in the meantime, let's get started. So to make Two of these you're going to need four of these strips right because each can gets two strips at the top for the lid and at the bottom for the tin like bottom part you're gonna need two rectangles. This is gonna be for the middle part. And then you need two circles for the lids, for the top. And that's it. Everything else is gonna be decorative. So you can stop here or you can add more things. I'm gonna be layering in a ton of hearts. So I've cut these out before, but I use hearts because everyone has hearts. You can either make them yourselves or you can use some sort of die cutting machine. I did stick with two colors that I felt would go well with both the black and white and the white with the holographic. But I am showing you one little thing that I wanna put on top of the lid. So I am a huge fan of using HTV on top of cardstock. And um, it sounds like not, I mean, there are some that I've seen people do it, but here are some reasons why you want to do it. When you have a lot of single letters, if this was in cardstock, I would have to you know, keep track of each one of these letters and glue down each one of these letters. 
with HTV, I just quickly weeded this thing, especially if you use glitter HTV, which as you can tell, I, I love glitter in general. <laughs> but glitter HTV, it feels, if you've never used it, and used it before, it sort of feels like a fruit roll up. It's a little bit thick, so it's easy to peel off. Um, it can handle intricate cuts. In this case, it's not intricate at all, but there are they are individual letters. So I'm going to put this down. I'm gonna show you how to use my little mini right here, and we're gonna get this down on to the glitter cardstock. Um, the other reason why I like using it is that there's that texture and it's a little thick, so it's gonna stay on top, and it just feels and looks different than glitter H, uh, than glitter cardstock. So it just depends. I mean, I like to vary up the textures. I like mixing in glitter cardstock with regular cardstock with holographic. Um, and it, when we get to like really layering projects, I love to mix in, you know, metallic and um, and just all sorts of and different shades. So you get the same theme, everything is cohesive, but you get that really layered, um, expensive look. I call it the expensive look. <laughs> okay, so let's get this, uh, let's get started. I've already heated up my mini, and I heat it, I mean, I'm very inconsistent when it comes to using my mini. Uh, sometimes I'm on one bar, two bars, three bars, I'm not using it for a very long time, so I've yet to burn something, although knock on wood, right, this would be the time to do it. Um, what you want to do is we're, you know, because it's not going through the wash, obviously, right, it's paper, we're not worried about um, a sweatshirt and making sure it lasts. Um, all we need to do is apply enough heat so that the glue is activated on the HTV and it sticks. Of course, I don't want it to fall off, but it just is a lot faster to get this to stick than it would be if we were doing HTV onto clothing, for example. All right, so I also did an offset so you could see, and then I added this little bar down here so that we can fold it so that it can stand up. So all this stuff we're gonna be doing together. Okay, here is my heat pad, so I wanna make sure so that I don't ruin anything underneath like my self-healing mat over there. So I'm gonna cut this up because this is for two different ones. So the first one says grandma, the second one says cha and mom. It's my, my, daughter, my daughter Charlotte, so I'm gonna do one for her and then one for grandma. Okay, so when you're first putting this down, my, the white part is, the white glitter cardstock is com almost completely covered except for this square. So I'm gonna make sure that when I'm using this, I'm not going over where that rectangle is. I really, you know, I don't wanna burn anything, like I said, I'm just activating the heat right now, the glue uh, with the heat. And I, this isn't completely down, but I wanna see if I can peel off this transfer sheet. And I do that because I, find that the transfer sheet is super thick, and so I don't think it transfers the heat that well. So right now, this, this is down, but I definitely wanna make sure that it's really down. So what I'm gonna do is I always, when I use heat, I always have the Teflon sheet. So the Teflon sheet just protects everything. I really like this also for when you're using HTV on clothing like on red shirts or black shirts. I don't know if this has happened to you before, but you get this discoloration because of the heat. Um, and so when I put this on, it, nothing's touching the actual shirt. So I find that I've avoided any discoloration with that. So, all right, I'm gonna put this completely over. And you can see I'm not editing or speeding up the time at all, so you know exactly how long I'm putting this down for. Just wanna get it through, make sure that everything is sticking, and I just wanna make sure that nothing is, um, you know, peelable, <laughs> if there's such a word. All right, so that's on there, and look how fast that was. Instead of gluing down and making sure everything is perfectly aligned, and then you know how it is, you take something off the mat and the R is missing somewhere in your craft room. <laughs> All right, so that's down. Let's do this one. This one is Cha and Mom. And we're gonna put this down. And for me, I really love to layer. So, um, but because we're not, I don't know, 
you know, I tried to keep it simple because I don't know what every what tools and machines that everyone has. So I didn't want to layer too much, but I would have loved to have had one more offset on this to make it really easy to read and pop. All right, so that came off. Put the Teflon sheet over it. Just get this down. All right. All good. So this is good. And that's going to go on top. So if you can imagine something like this. And I'm going to fold that down so it's going to sit like this. <laughs> okay. So let's get started on our first one. So I have my um, glue gun plugged in and I'm going to turn off my mini right now because we're done with the mini. So give me a second to move that out of the way before I burn myself. <laughs> All right, let's see. I'm going to move this over here. All right. So the first thing that I do is I take off the lid and I just want to push this little tab up and inside so that the lid will be covered on the inside so that I can put all that pretty stuff down. So on this top part, what I've been doing is double-sided tape. And here's my double-sided tape. And just making sure it sticks down. I've used glue. It's just whatever is your personal preference. And also, I find that when I'm using double-sided tape, I like having the little Cricut tool, well, this little scraper, it really gets it down. flip it over. So I made this one a little bit bigger and I think I did two different sizes. So we're going to try out. I've done a lot of these, but I'm still tinkering with the sizes. Do I want to make it closer? So this is 3.18. It extends past the lid. And I like that because what happens is um, I'll have this little tab going across it so it kind of just you know it just fits but I'm wondering if a closer fit would be better I don't know I'm totally open but um, all the dimensions sizing will be available in the in the uh, description and then you can let me know I'm still experimenting with this because what happens is I'll get an order and then I'll just process it as is because it looks good I have everything going um, I just haven't had time to really experiment all the different sizes. <laughs> all right, so here we go. I'm going to push it down. And so there is transformation step one, right? Okay, so I'm going to take that off. That looks good. And let's put down this piece. So on this first one, I'm just going to use my glue gun. I've used glue. I've used double-sided tape. I've used it all. So it's totally up to you. Um, and look how pretty this paper is. It's double-sided. I would just put down, just start by putting down some glue so that you can, like I said, just get started. And then just glue all around it. So I'm going to see. So I've done the thinner paper cardstock, like printed cardstock, and when it's thinner, it can show through the glue, and so it's not thick enough to just lay down nicely. So that's why you want to look for a thicker paper. This one, you can you can hear it. It's just thicker. Okay, let's get going. I'm just putting down glue. And I did this one because I cut it on my, just my little hand cut machine. So I went all the way to 12 inches. If you cut on your Cricut, I will have different dimensions for you. Um, I usually put it right here. 
but it doesn't matter because I'll just go over like this so this will be the edge all right so let's do this I'm gonna put in a glue stick It's just a little bit too hot for my hands but look at that it's just transforming okay so I'm gonna put the lid on so you could see I mean it's not looking like a Pringles can anymore right so this would work for so many different things I mean obviously the sizing would be different but I've seen um, chocolate cylinders like higher um, at Target um, so anything in this cylinder shape makes a great way to disguise it and just dress it up Okay, so this is down. I'm gonna put this down right here and then we'll just put a little bit of glue to get started to put this down. This right now fits exactly on the lid. And so when you're opening the lid, your hand will touch the lid and the cardstock. So it's even sizing. So you're, um, I just find that it's sturdier. You know, you're not, your can's not gonna fall apart on you. All right, so let's put a little bit of glue. I'm just gonna hold it for a second okay so it's down and then we're just gonna go all the way around And then you can just wipe off the glue. I did a little bit too much today. Okay. And then just turn it and keep going around. it looks so pretty <laughs> all right let's go this way So top part is done. Let's do the bottom half. So same thing here. You're gonna line it up so that it the edge meets the bottom. So it's sitting on both this tin and your cardstock. So it's just stable, nothing gets ruined. All right, so let's put down a little bit of glue. And it dries pretty quickly. Okay, so I'm gonna lift that up and then just put glue all along the edge. So look at that, isn't it beautiful? Okay, so let's do on this one, I'm gonna give this one to my daughter. So I'm gonna fold this, I'm gonna take a ruler, and that way you can line it up, and it's just easier. Sorry, I forgot that I needed a ruler, okay. There we go. 
So I'm just gonna line it up so I know where to fold it. And then I'm gonna put glue along this edge and then sit it on top of my on top of my thing. So here we go. So it's gonna sit like that. And then we can always put hearts behind it and stuff. Okay, so let's build our hearts. I love to layer, so I always have my foam, ta foam tape. So let's just start layering all these hearts. This one is such a cute little thing. It has a cutout of the heart, so the second layer is will poke through. And then because this heart came out, I'm going to put foam tape on this and put it on top so it's kind of sticking up. So let's do that. Um, to get these two together, I'm going to use my double-sided tape, which I have somewhere. <laughs> Man, I forgot what I was doing today. Okay, I'm just gonna use my glue. So anything that is going onto another piece not this one because this one is, I consider this one piece because the color coming through is the bottom half. So I didn't put foam tape on it, but between this layer and this layer, I'm definitely gonna put foam tape. And you wanna do it so that it's stable. So in this case, I'm actually gonna put down three foam squares because I don't want it to, to collapse a little bit. I want it to stay even. So I'm gonna put it on three places. And then because I'm just paranoid, I'm still testing out these foam squares. So I'm gonna put a little bit of my glue down to make sure that it's not going anywhere. I know. <laughs> All right, here we go. And so you see it pops up. It just gives it depth. And dimension. All right, so on this little guy, I am going to put a foam square, which I think is going to be too big. So I'm going to cut it. Whoa. All right, here we go. Oh, I somehow managed to make it work, I think. So it fits perfectly in there, but if I turn it over, you can see it's thick. And so it's going to add to that when I put it down here. It's just, things are gonna pop out. It's not gonna look flat. So that's what we want. So I'm, I just wanna layer a bunch of hearts. That's all we're doing is just dressing up this Pringles can and having fun with it. All right, so that's one layer. Let's do the next one. So on this one, this is four hearts. It went a little crazy. I'm just going to put one foam square and you can always add sometimes because this is a quarter of an inch of the foam square. Um, I will put the glue gun in here afterwards to get it down. but you can do so many different things with this. It's so cute. And everyone's always surprised that it's Pringles inside. <laughs> I've seen, I've heard a lot of people saving these and you can, um, I don't know, empty out the can maybe and put pencils in it or something. I'm not sure. All right, so we're almost done here. Let's do. more layer and look at this one so this one is four layers it's really popping out so when we put it down here like 
this and then maybe layer this heart over here. Everything's just gonna pop out and look really nice. So, see like that. <laughs> um, so on here, what I would do is I would put my foam tape again so that it's not laying flat on the can. And then for sure on this one, I'm putting my, my glue gun on it too, just to make sure that it's really sticking to it. And remember, this lid rotates, so it's okay if we put it down and it doesn't line up right now. You just wanna make sure you know where your ending is so that you're in the front of that, okay. So on this one, I'm gonna slide it in between like this, but I'm gonna make sure that, there, I'm gonna do it like that. Get that glue gun in there just to make sure that nothing is gonna come off on me. All right, look at that. How cute is that, right? It's Pringles. <laughs> All right, behind here, if you wanted to, I mean, we could put some hearts, like sticking up like this, poking through. All right, so that's one down. I'm gonna just briefly go over this to remind you how to do this. So first thing is you wanna open up the can or the lid. You wanna tuck this in you wanna glue down your top, and then you're gonna, oh no, sorry. You're gonna glue down your top, and then you're gonna put this on. You're gonna tape that down, or glue it down. Put your lid back on, tuck that little piece in. This will be on, and then you're gonna do your borders. You're gonna do your top border, and then your bottom border, and then you decorate away. All right, so we did this one. Did this. I'm moving it over so you can see it all. You can see how different in colors, in theme, I mean, you can really go anything that you want here. Let me get the last one over. And that one so totally different themes different colors different types of paper this has the gold this is just a fruit popsicle and hearts it's just whatever you want to do i hope this was helpful and i can't wait to see what you guys do bye